guys what's up welcome back to our channel so it is Wednesday my um, tripod is tilted it is hot so we just got back from the grocery store unexpected trip I did have like a little list going y'all I literally had one two three four five six things on my list and my total was way, way more than six things. So anyways, Joel called and he needed me to bring him something to eat at work because he wasn't going to have time to take a lunch. So he um, works by the grocery store that I shop at. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go get the things that I need. And then he was like, I need more things for my lunch, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, we needed meat too. I didn't have that on the list, but I went ahead and got it because I don't like getting meat from the place that's close to us. The grocery store that's close to us is way overpriced. So I went ahead and like stocked up on some stuff. Um, so I'm gonna do a real quick grocery haul in the beginning of this vlog. It's been a really long time since I've done a grocery haul, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So I'm gonna start over here. My camera feels like it's a little bit dark. Okay, we'll try this. Anyways, okay, so if we needed more waters, we're pretty low. So I got some waters out, so we're totally out of Gatorades. I get these little mini ones. They're like the size of my hand. Got some of these, because the kids like taking these um, for lunch, and they also like them after school, like with their snacks. I got some chocolate milk. We never get chocolate milk, but yesterday I was talking to Carson, and I asked her what she drinks at lunch, and she said chocolate milk. And I was like, you know what? I bet Cam would love chocolate milk. So I just got a little, uh, what is this, a quart? Half gallon? I got one of these. Uh, I know she'll like it, and I'm, I'm going to see if Cam likes it. Cam, I don't think he's ever had chocolate milk in his life, and he's almost three. We needed more milk. We just ran out this morning. I got Funyuns. These are like the kids' favorite, 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 favorite chips. Um, I got a bunch of cup of noodles. I got the hot and spicy chicken. It's my favorite. I usually get these like in between lunch and dinner, like for a snack to hold me over until dinner. So there's that. We needed bread. I always get two loaves at a time and we get the nature's own honey wheat. It's our favorite. I got two of these BLT salad kits. Um, it has chicken and bacon in it, and it has avocado ranch dressing and a fork inside, too. So, there's that. It has a... You can see. It's got bacon pieces, tomatoes, lettuce, um, and then there's chicken over here. You can see it. And cheese. So, I got some of those because every time, you know, if you watch the Kardashians, it makes you crave a dang salad because they're always eating salad I don't not these probably not these but they're always eating salad um, I got some of these special K meal bars I used to get these for K all the time when she had gymnastics so she could have a snack before class without it being too heavy and now she wants them for cheer and Joel likes these too so I got the chocolate peanut butter ones because they're their favorite and I got the value size one um, I also got these cliff bars I got the oatmeal raisin walnut ones and they're the energy i don't know we've never gotten cliff bars i think i've tried one before but we've never bought them and these are expensive i want to say like a dollar a bar and it's just nutrition sustained energy i figured joel would like these he likes taking stuff like that to work to snack on so i got those i got some more of these little bites blueberry muffins um there's five pouches in here they have four muffins in each one my kids love those for after school um got some chili for chili dogs with no beans i got a few cans of raviolis because we're running low i got these for joel's lunch he used to take these to lunch i figured i would get them for him because they're really easy they're lunch to go mix your own tuna kits they've got crackers tuna sweet relish and mayonnaise you can refrigerate it or you don't have to refrigerate it so uh, it's up to you. It has a little napkin in there. I know it has like a little spoon. You can see it behind that relish. Um, it has. It's these are great, and he loves these. So I got him five, like one for every day, the rest of the week. I got a package of strawberries because we can never keep strawberries in the house. My kids are obsessed. I got some tricks. The kids haven't had tricks in a while, and they were requesting it every time they run out of a box of cereal. I ask them what kind of cereal they want next. So we're doing tricks. Um, I got some gala apples. These are the kids' favorite apples. 
Got some cuties oranges because we're pretty much out. Two packages of chicken flavor rice by Noor. I think that's how you say that. I think the K is silent. But these are great for quick dinners. I will boil some chicken legs for an hour, uh, debone them and uh, pull them apart and then mix them in with this rice and it's easy chicken and rice. This is probably one of our top five dinners that the, the like all of the kids will eat this. So there's some stuff the kids don't really eat that well. Like they like it, but it's not like, uh, this I have to get two bags of rice and I have to cook maybe like eight seven or eight chicken legs because it goes quick it goes quick like Cadence and Carson get like two or three servings when I make that um, raspberry pop tarts strawberry who raspberry is the best pop tarts uh, I got some more baking soda I don't usually keep baking soda on hand but I started cleaning my oven and I need to do like a second run. So I got another box of baking soda. We needed some more ground cinnamon because the kids always eat cinnamon toast in the morning. Black label bacon. This stuff is expensive, but it's the best bacon you will ever have in your life. I got 18 eggs. Some frozen sausage patties. These taste just like McDonald's. Jaden loves McDonald's sausages. And... When we go get breakfast, he just wants sausage, and then I'll make him eggs here. He doesn't like their eggs. So, I bought these. He tried them. He said it tastes just like them, which is a shocker, because y'all know Jaden is such a picky eater. And uh, these are a win. We go through these really quick. I should start getting the family size, but our freezer is so small that it we can't, um, it's hard to hold them. You can microwave them. It says microwavable. But literally, it's so easy and it gets like crispy if you do it in a skillet with a lid and it's literally like three minutes on each side on medium heat and they're perfect. I got three packages of uh, mesquite barbecue. <laughs> mesquite barbecue Lay's stacks. These are Jaden's favorite chips. He likes to eat them after school for a snack with the Lunchable. Um, got some fish sticks. The kids love fish sticks. Again, I want to get the family size bag of these but we just don't have room in our freezer. The kids love those, they go through them so quick. I got some Cheez-Its for the kids, they love Cheez-Its. Cran grape, this is my favorite kind of ocean spray juice. Um, Joel and the kids love the apple grape. Cran apple, not apple grape. Cran apple, I love cran grape. Cam likes uh, cran grape too, and so does Carson, but they prefer the apple one. Two packages of... 2.25 pounds of ground meat for dinner a chuck pot roast because it's cooler and we've been obsessed with roast put this in the crock pot on high for four to five hours put about half an inch of water a whole stick of butter a packet of ranch uh dressing like what you make um uh, mixed with uh, sour cream, I'll show you guys. Cause I got a whole box cause we've been doing it so much. This, it's the salad dressing and recipe mix. One of these and a packet of brown gravy. The McCormick brown gravy. And cook it like that and then shred it and it is the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. I That's the best roast you will ever, 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 ever have. And then Cam got a few of these little juices. He got his favorite um, little characters that they had. Uh, he got a little dinosaur. And the, the ones he liked only came in the fruit punch. They did have apple juice. He loves apple juice, but the little characters that he loved only came in the fruit punch, but he loved the fruit punch. He drank this whole one on the way home and then he got a baby shark one and he got a PJ mask one. So that is everything that I got at the grocery store. Um, when I make that roast, I'll do a video on it. I forgot to get a stick of butter. You can do like, sorry, it's super dark. You can do a um, spoon, like tablespoon of tub butter if you want to, but I just like unwrapping a stick of butter and putting it on top. So I put the water in and then I put the roast in the water and then I literally pour the packet of ranch on top of the roast, pour the packet of brown gravy on top of the roast and then put the stick of butter on top and let it cook. And it is so good. It looks weird whenever it's first done because all that gravy is like the film is sitting on top of the roast. But when you start to shred it and mix it, 
it turns out amazing. We had it the other night by itself. I usually put it on top of mashed potatoes or I have it on top of rice or something like that. But the other night we had it by itself and I made the box um, chicken flavor dressing, like Thanksgiving dressing. And I got a can of, of cranberries and I made, what, did I, what else did I have, corn? Maybe corn or green beans, some kind of vegetable I had on the side. Joel made like two huge tall plate, excuse me, tall plates and it put everybody to sleep. It was so good. But I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I'll be back. I'm gonna show you guys what my oven is looking like. I wish I would've did a before. I'll tell you guys about that in a minute, but I gotta put this, these groceries up because this stuff, this frozen stuff, needs to get in the freezer. I'm on the train headed back to Indiana. The rain is forming into rivers outside. Writing down all the things that I miss. And in the letters you take form. No, I won't go back tonight. With the habits of the restless me. I'm leaving all. took some leftovers <laughs> out of the refrigerator out of the back of the refrigerator so now I have a lot more dishes but I'm gonna show you guys what the oven is looking like so we we used to like cook french fries a lot and we stopped doing that uh, they were like Jaden's favorite but we decided no more if he eats french fries he's only gonna get them when we eat out we're not gonna cook them here anymore so we used to keep the pot of grease in the oven. Well, sometimes when we would take the pot in and out, when we were gonna use the oven, it would splash into the bottom of the dang oven. So, I probably still wouldn't have cleaned it, but it started smoking because the, the other day, I spilled a lot of grease in there. And so it started smoking and I was like, this probably isn't safe. Oh, I mean, it's not safe, not probably, it's not safe. So I just need to like bite the bullet and clean this dang stove or this dang oven. So I'm gonna show you guys what the inside looks like. Keep in mind, I already cleaned it once, so it was way worse than this. I did post a picture on Snapchat before I started cleaning it when it had like the baking soda sitting in it. I'll like insert like a picture over here, but that's what it looked like before. And then now I'll show you guys what I'm using and what it looks like now. I'm not done. I had to go get more baking soda. I'm going to do another round, but I'm going to show you guys. All right, so first what I'm using is this stuff right here <laughs> okay so this had uh the first time i filled it up it had white vinegar in it now it had a little bit of water in dawn dish soap because dawn fights grease so i'll tell you what i did i have my scentsy counter clean because after i wiped all of it out i didn't want it to stink anymore so I sprayed this it's called or it's in the scent very snowy spruce it smells like 
Christmas pine tree. I've got a sponge with a scrubby side. I've got this like scrubby thing that I got at Walmart a long time ago. And then baking soda. And then I have like a metal uh, spatula to get off the really hard stuff. So it's still needs a lot of cleaning. It was way worse than this. It looks a lot better than it did. Right now I have um, the Dawn dish soap and the water sitting in there. So that's what's in there right now. I'm about to wipe it out. I wanted it to sit while I went and got groceries. But the the glass was like completely dirty. You can kind of see over here like the little pieces that are still left. But I still need to like get all this off. So that's why I'm going to do another round. And then I sprayed the sides. I got the sides pretty clean. I need to wipe the back down a little bit. The other side, the main part was right here. Because this is where like grease got spilled and... Like food got spilled down there, so I need to clean that a little bit better. It's hard to get in there. Um, probably when Joel gets home, I'll have him take the door of the oven off so I can wipe down there really good. But I'm gonna do another real thick paste on these spots. I'm gonna wipe the water and dish soap out of there. But this is looking so much better than it was. All right, so the mixture I did, it asked for a cup of baking soda, but when I did a cup, it was basically this whole box and I still had to make a little bit more. So I'm going to do another whole box. And then, so it said to do a cup of baking soda and then a third of a cup of water. But since I'm doing more than uh, a cup of baking soda, I am going to do like, I'm just going to, uh, <coughs> It's like flying into the air, the powder is, and it got in my mouth. Anyways, I'm going to just like eyeball the water like when you make pancake mix. I'm going to eyeball the water and mix, and then I'll show you the consistency it needs to look like with your water added. Honestly, I think I just did the perfect amount. I probably could have done a little bit less, but it's supposed to be a little bit looser than a toothpaste. So, that's what it looks like because you want it to like cake on and all the videos all the 50 million videos that i watched on youtube everybody did it with like a sponge or something like that i have these old gloves and i'm just gonna like grab it with my hands and um put it on there it's like i'm gonna scoop it with my hand and like rub it in I'm out of reasons, I'm out of rhyme But I'll only tell you that I'm out of time I'm sick of love songs, I'm tired of this And I wanna tell you straight just like it is You're watching me like you want me But you're still holding back, still holding back Honestly, you're annoying me With the way that you keep playing Like it is, and open my heart like you're fearless. Steal all the gold you can get, you can get. Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless. <laughs> up close so you guys can see what I'm working with see how this is like the hardest stuff to get off and then this spot that spot's really hard and then this corner was not given in it's just mainly like the door has this grease that's as clean as it's gonna get I tried I'm gonna probably have to do it again in a month there's still stuff let me know if there's a way I can get this off I can't I tried I scraped and scraped but say hi look say hi. yeah and you drew on your face while you're supposed to be taking a nap what happened right there yeah don't shake your head no he's like I'm not talking about it so I buy this home style bakes kit it comes with everything you need and it has chicken in it but it doesn't have hold on it doesn't have enough oh you want to show him cat boy 
Go play doctor then. And you'll quit fighting. Go. Go play and shut the door. Anyways. So, it's a complete meal kit. It even has chicken in the sauce, but it's not enough meat. So I also buy a package of cooked shrimp. I get the large because they shrink down a little bit. So I just rinse these and I pull tails off. And this comes with everything. I'll show you guys. Comes with the noodles, the Alfredo noodles. And then it has two cans of creamy, hold on, creamy Alfredo sauce flavored with white meat chicken. And it does actually have like little pieces of chicken in it. And it comes with two cans of the sauce. And then all you need is water. All you need is water and it takes 20 minutes. So I'm making this and then I'm also going to make some of this Texas toast because we like that on the side. What? Okay, go give him a checkup. Their bones are crooked? Yeah. So this pan I'm using for the shrimp. I'll show you guys what I put in it. Basically, I would just put butter and garlic. I am gonna need parsley flakes. I like to put this in. Okay, I like to put this in with the noodle mix. And then I need garlic salt or garlic powder, some kind of garlic something for the oh no I don't no I don't no I don't because I put actual garlic in with the shrimp but I won't cook the shrimp until this is almost done because this takes 20 minutes so it'll be done by then so I'm gonna turn my large burner on to it needs to be boiling so I'm gonna turn it up to high Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless left so I'm gonna start the shrimp. What? I'll put it in the trash. 
Um, so I put it on like a little under medium. Thank you. And then I put quite a bit of butter because I like for them to simmer in the butter. And I forgot to tell you guys one thing that I used to cook shrimp. The first time I cooked shrimp, I didn't use it. But the second time, I did use it because um, I just wanted to try it. I was worried it was going to make the shrimp spicy because my kids eat it, but it didn't make it spicy at all. So, um, you'll need paprika too. And I just use Great Value brand. So I put butter and then I buy the jar of minced garlic because ain't nobody got time to be cutting up and dicing garlic. And I put a good spoon in because we love There's that, butter, garlic, and then once this melts, I'll add my shrimp and I'll put the paprika on top. Um, I'm also about to put my bread in the oven so that can get crispy. Crispy, crispy. All right, so I'm gonna wait for this to melt. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit so it melts faster. But this is what it looks like. Tons of butter tons of garlic and then over here my shrimp is rinsed um i usually don't rinse it but i did this time because it still had like a little bit of ice on it like it was a little bit frozen still um this is still cooking probably gonna stir it you have to stir this every now and then so it doesn't uh stick sorry got a little blurry so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And I just basically run it around one one or two times and then that's it so that I don't mess with it too much. Put the lid back on. I'm gonna get this to simmering. I'm gonna put it on high so it'll melt and I can get it to simmer. And I'll be back to show you when I add the shrimp and add the paprika. All right, so this is going pretty good. All I had to do was put it on high for a little bit and it all melted. Watch, watch out. Get the shrimp. This will pull it down. I'm gonna put this cold shrimp in here. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna, hold on. I'm gonna spread these out so I can get all of them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just a minute. Okay. Okay. So there's that. And then I'm going to take paprika. Stop! I'm trying to do cartwheel. Stop. Cam, baby. Watch out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So that's pretty good. And then I'm just going to simmer it for five minutes and I stir them around a little bit. It's a cartwheel. You're gonna jump. Yep. Yep. Ready? Now let's see if I can do cancel. Don't do it in here. You're gonna Ready? kick something. No, I'm not. I see Cam Cam. I see Cam Cam. I see Cam Cam. Good job. Let me see. Wow. I see you. Wow. Can you go pick up your dinosaurs? No. All right. I'll turn this down a little bit. I want to try to do a cartwheel. Ribbit. 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 I'm going to do 100 ribbits. Ribbit. Ribbit. I did a hundred. 
with ribbits. Ready? And I just fall. Ribbit. 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 So it's done, nice and juicy, and this is the best it's ever. This is the best it's ever been because I added a little extra water. It asks for like one and a fourth a cup of water, but I did like one and a half, and it's perfect. It's not too thick, so you do have to let it set for five minutes with the lid off so that the sauce will thicken a little bit. So that's what that's doing. Um, my shrimp is done. I have just a little Tupperware bowl. I'm gonna take all of them out of the sauce and put them over here because we add the shrimp ourselves. We don't put it in with it so that we can control how much shrimp is in there. Otherwise, we're gonna be scooping for shrimp, trying to get the, the shrimp with the noodles. So I'm gonna move all this over here and then I gotta take my bread out. I bet it's ready. Get the bread out. Shrimp Alfredo. Oh, Alright. Right. Oh, that's hot. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. No. You can have it with your food. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Fool. Alright, my battery camera is flashing, but we're having toast and shrimp Alfredo for dinner. Super easy. And is it good? Huh? Is it good? Yeah. You don't know. Yeah. You always get seconds. Okay, so it's good. <laughs> Cause you like the way it tastes. Yeah. That means it's cause it's good. Oh my god. All right, guys. I had to charge my camera cause the battery was flashing at me. But I had to run to my mom's, run to my brother's. And then I had to run to the store because I needed some gas and some windshield wiper fluid and some snacks. So I got some snacks while I edit. So I am about to edit this vlog. Editing the vlog. I got some the Pockies and peanut m and and a water. And about to get this party started. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you're gonna try that recipe. Also, if you do try it, let me know how you like it. We love it. Everybody ate it except Cam. Cam's going through this thing where he just wants hot dogs and grilled cheese. So I made Cam two grilled cheese. He fell asleep in his high chair. <laughs> I knew he was gonna fall asleep in his high chair. If he doesn't take a long nap, which he only took like a 30 minute nap today, on the way back from getting groceries. If he doesn't take a nap, he's gonna fall asleep during dinner. So hopefully he stays asleep all night, fingers crossed. And I made Jaden a pizza. So it was nice cooking in the oven without it smoking. Okay, making baby subs, making progress. Um, I'll probably go through and clean the oven again in about a month. Hopefully the rest of it comes off then. Just like right now I'm over it. I'm not touching it anymore. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.